Blue Chip Report named Durrani Pitts an All-American and one of the top recruits in the nation in 1995. The 5'11", 195-pound Pitts was a wide receiver and defensive back, as well as being the team's place kicker and punt return specialist for three varsity seasons for the Saginaw Trojans. We asked, um, we called out who could kick, who could punt, and the first thing everybody said, Durrani can punt. Who can quarterback? Durrani can punt. Who can catch the ball? Durrani. So that's all I heard. And he caught 21 passes for 401 yards and five TDs and recorded 37 tackles and four interceptions his senior season. Pitts was named first team All-State while also being chosen to the state's dream team. After landing first team All-Conference honors as a defensive back his junior season, Pitts earned All-Conference accolades and was named the Saginaw Valley League's MVP his senior season. He also was named the Michigan Student Athlete of the Year by the Detroit News. When we talk about most valuable, or when we talk about someone who's just the most integral individual person, I just think that, that with our basketball teams, that Durrani was the most integral person that participated on the team during his years at Saginaw High. The National Honor Society member also played basketball and baseball and competed in track and field for the Trojans. You know, we've often talked about uh, the, pre, the three predominant sports, uh, baseball, football, and basketball. But Durrani was good at soccer. Durrani was good at whatever he uh, set his mind to. And he could play baseball, football, soccer, base, uh, basketball, also track, yeah, and also drama. He was one of the top drama. Pitts received a scholarship to Stanford University and was redshirted during the 1996 season. Anywhere he wanted to go, I believe he could have gone and done well. But one of the things that, and it hasn't happened since, when they came to recruit Durrani, they didn't just send an assistant coach. They, 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 they and, and, and the, when they sent the big dog, the big dog didn't come saying he was the big dog. I didn't know him, but he's sitting in my office, him and another assistant, one of his assistants, he was letting the assistant coach do all the talking. That's how bad that they wanted Durrani. I don't know if I know another person that has ever had an opportunity to get a scholarship at Stanford University from Saginaw. One year later, he finished fourth on the team with 13 receptions for 195 yards and one touchdown in eight games. The following season saw Pitts become Stanford's go-to receiver with 74 catches for 1,012 yards and seven touchdowns, which led the team, by the way. He became only the third receiver in school history to record at least 74 catches and only the fourth receiver at Stanford to gain over 1,000 receiving yards in a season. To go across the country, away from your parents, to a place where most people in mid-Michigan, where is Stanford located, wouldn't know. And he did that. Pitts was the winner of the DeWard Eller Award as the team's top sophomore and the Phil Moffitt Award as the team's top offensive special teams player. Just how, he just knew how to do things right, textbook. He was that kind of young man. In 1999, he was named second team All-Pac-10 after catching 58 passes for 853 yards and eight touchdowns. In his senior season, Pitts caught 77 passes for 882 yards and eight TDs while being selected All-Pac-10 and being named the team's most valuable player. But when we put together the intellectual ability and the physical ability, Durrani is the, he stands out and foremost amongst any player that I've ever coached. He remains near the top of the school's career receiving leaders. He is second in receptions with 222, 100 yard games with 10, receiving yards at 2,942, and catches in a game, 13 versus Southern Cal. Pitts is also third in touchdown catches with 24 and single season receptions with 77. His 3,463 all-purpose yards rank him ninth all-time. He played in one bowl game, the 2000 Rose Bowl against Wisconsin. The Badgers won 17-9, but Pitts caught six passes for 81 yards. After graduation, he signed with the San Diego Chargers as a free agent and later played in NFL Europe for the FC Barcelona Dragons before injuries ended his career. 
I think Durrani Pitts could do almost anything if he chooses to set his mind to, he could become that person. He, there, there are probably only three or four people in my life that I've run into that I would say that about.